welcome to the Express in-service for Topaz Plus. This video will provide you with the info required to set up and operate the most commonly used features on the Topaz Plus digital chest drainage and monitoring system. Complete instructions can be accessed in the Topaz Plus instructions for use. The Topaz Plus is intended to be used for aspiration and removal of surgical fluid, tissue, gases, bodily fluid, and infectious materials. It is indicated for all situations where chest drains are applied, especially thoracic drainage in the pleural and mediastinal cavity in situations such as pneumothorax, cardiac or thoracic surgery, thorax injury, pleural effusion, pleural empyema, or other related conditions. Topaz Plus is intended for use on patients in appropriate care settings. There are no known contraindications. First, let's review the equipment required for setup, which includes the reusable 2.2 pound Topaz Plus digital chest drainage and monitoring system, and the following consumable items, the tubing and the canister, which will attach to the right side of the device. On the left side of the device are two ports, the power port and the USB port. On the top of the device is the carrying handle with the bed holder, the screen, and multifunction operational buttons. And on the back, you will find two rail holders. Always get into the habit of checking everything first, making sure there are no cracks or flaws on the device, make sure the O-ring is present, and make sure that the sterile packaging for the canister and tubing are intact. This system is unique and quite different from any analog system that you have been using. There is no need to add any water, and you will not see or hear any bubbles from the system. All the therapy information will be available digitally on the device screen. The Topaz Plus can be placed anywhere and it does not need to be below the level of the patient's chest. It can be mounted on the patient's bed, placed on a bedside table, or mounted on an IV pole. The Topaz Plus can run while it's plugged in or on battery power. The average battery life is 10 hours. We recommend plugging in the Topaz Plus whenever the patient is at the bedside. So back to the canister. There are three different sizes of canister available with or without a solidifier. 300 milliliter, 800 milliliter, and two liter. Each canister is equipped with a hydrophobic filter to prevent overflow, a pressure release valve in case the patient coughs, a sticker for canister size detection, and a sealing cap to seal the canister prior to disposal. There are different tubing sizes depending on the size of the chest drain and you can connect multiple chest tubes unilaterally to the device by selecting a double connector and tubing extension set. These are contained individually in sterile packaging. Carefully open one end of the tubing packaging, ensuring that the pointed patient connector end remains sterile. Carefully insert the other end into the Topaz Plus suction port. Next, open the canister and check to ensure that the canister detection label is present. If it is not present, do not use the canister. Ensure that the orange O-ring is present and take the canister and fit the feet first at the bottom of the device. Then rock and lock the canister into place until you hear a click. A functional check needs to be completed every time therapy is initiated with a new patient. Turn the pump on by pressing the power button on the top right corner of the device. You will notice that the device begins to carry out an internal diagnostic check prior to prompting whether there is a new patient. Once a new patient is confirmed, we are ready to conduct the functional check. On the bottom right of the screen, double check that the canister size matches the size of the canister that is attached. If this does not match, dispose of the canister and replace with a new one before proceeding with the steps of the functional check. Under aseptic technique, place your finger over the end of the patient connector and press OK on the bottom right of the device to run the functional check. If you see the status test passed, the device is now in standby and ready to use. If the test fails, double check all connections, the canister and the tubing for a secure fit. You may need to replace them. Now we're ready to begin therapy. Connect the patient connector into the chest tube and ensure that the pressure on the bottom center of the screen is correct. Press on to begin. The Topaz Plus provides its own battery powered regulated suction source. 
This means that fluid will always be draining into the canister and there is no need to pick up the tube to drain it, thereby removing the siphon effect that can occur with analog systems. Patients can also mobilize while having continuous suction applied to their drains. To change the pressure mode during active therapy, press the bottom left and right arrows simultaneously and use the up or down arrows to adjust the pressure. You can also access physio mode, negative eight centimeters of water, for the water seal setting on the bottom left of the screen. After making your adjustment, select the OK option on the bottom right to accept the changes. So how do we know if therapy is active? In the top right-hand corner of the display, there is a wheel that is rotating. On the display, you can see that the screen is split into two areas. On the left shows the air leak in milliliters per minute, completely different than counting bubbles. And on the right is the fluid drainage from the patient. And the device is defaulted to show the total drainage, 24-hour drainage, and one-hour drainage. You can activate or reset the demand fluid counter by pressing and holding the bottom right arrow for three seconds. This will not affect the other fluid values on the screen. You can put the device back into standby mode by pressing and holding the bottom left arrow for three seconds. You will notice that standby will appear in the upper right corner of the display. Switch the Topaz Plus into standby mode to conduct functions such as taking a drainage sample using a 17 gauge needle or smaller changing the canister or the tubing, or to power off the device by tapping the power button. To change the canister, ensure that the pump is in standby and clamp the tubing. Press the blue canister release button to remove the canister. Seal the used canister by tearing off the canister seals from the back of the canister and inserting them into the open holes. Attach a new canister to the device Continue with on and unclamp the tubing. The Topaz Plus provides both acoustic and visual notifications. The acoustic signal can be temporarily silenced for 60 seconds by pressing the up and down arrows simultaneously. To troubleshoot, simply follow the instructions on display. The Topaz Plus has a unique feature that enables you to check the catheter patency for drains that are within the pleural space and without an air leak when the display reads zero milliliters per minute. Press the up arrow to access the air leak history and then scroll to the catheter check on screen 404. Follow the instructions on the device. The pressure difference represented by the alternating up and down arrows indicates that the chest drain is patent. Thank you for watching the Express in service for Topaz Plus. For further information, you can access our Topaz Plus support site for additional resources such as quick cards, reference guides, the complete instructions for use, and additional product videos.